Hello students. Good morning everyone. Today is our sixth class science topic. Is about parts of a plant. Yesterday we will discuss about some basic properties of the plant and after that the parts of a plant mainly there are two parts of the plant that is root system and shoot system in root system root absorbs water minerals from the soil of the earth after that we will discuss we have discussed about the features of the root system parts types functions and the modification of the root system we had already discussed now today we will discuss about a shoot system what is the shoot system the remaining part yeah about the part of the plant which is above the surface of the earth is known as the shoot system of the plant generally it includes stem branches leaf flowers etc these are the main parts of a shoot system of the plant after that we will discuss about first stem what is a stem stem is a main axis of the shoot system stem is the main part or main axis of the shoot system in herbivorous plant so in herbaceous plants green plants it is green but in woody plants it is like a wood hard in shrubs and trees it is hard in shrubs and trees okay after that stem is also called the trunk of the tree means tana after that the features of the stem what are the features of the stem first one is stem provide stem mainly grows towards light stem mainly grows towards light and away from the sun it sorry away from the soil it grows towards light and away from the soil and water stem has nodes and internodes first we will discuss in this figure that this is the our main stem of any plant in which there are two leaves present in these leaves at the point where the leaves is becoming outwards from the stem is known as the node this is a node point in both leaf this these points are known as the node between the two leaf the space which is present between the two nodes this space which is present between the two nodes is known as the internode this space is known as the internode okay after that the point at which the leaf makes an angle with main stem is known as the axil the angle between the leaf and the stem is known as the axil and this part is known as the axillary bud from where the leaf starts coming out from the stem okay after that this green leafy part both in both leaves this green leafy part is known as the leaf lamina is known as the leaf lamina okay understand after that this thin part 
from which a main leaf is attached is known as the petiole what is petiole this thin strand which is attached mainly to the stem is known as the petiole after that we will discuss about the features of the stem stem has nodes and internodes we had already discussed stem also bear leaves branches buds flowers and also fruits these all are includes stem the auxiliary buds give rise to new branches auxiliary buds give rise to new branches young stems are green but older and woody stem are non green young stems mean when the plant is small then the stem is young and which is green in color and when it become old then the stem is non green or just like a woody stem okay after that functions of a stem what are the functions of a stem stem of a plant gives support stem gives support to the plant also conduction of water and food takes place with the help of the stem okay after that modification of the stem modification of a stem in modification the stem first carry out manufacturing of food in modification in some plants like cactus which is generally grows in desert areas or in rajasthan stem prepare their food because in cactus plant no leaves are present so modification means stem also provide food to the plant and the process of photosynthesis takes place after that storage of food stem also store food and give it to the other parts of the plant such as tuber some stem have swollen underground structures with the help of the plant to survive winter or adverse condition tuber is stored as a food in some plants such as potato potato plant is a tuber plant modification of stem is generally done in potato plant okay after that bulb in onion plant leaves store food in onion plant leaves uh, onion plant leaves store as a food and bulb is formed this is also the modification of the stem okay students after that next part now we will discuss about the leaves first leaves are known as the food factories of a plant because leaves mainly prepare food with the help of the photosynthesis plants in most of the plants so leaves are known as the food factories of a plant okay who are known as the food factory of a plant leaves after that parts of the leaf mainly petiole lamina midrib veins petiole lamina midrib veins these are the four basic part of a leaf as already discussed petiole is the thin strand which is attached to the stem to leaf 
ओके द पार्ट ऑफ ए लीफ बाय विच इट इज अटैच टू द स्टेम इज कॉल्ड द पेटियोल दिस ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द लीफ इज नोन एज द लेमिना आफ्टर दैट इन लीफ सॉरी इन लीफ दिस थिक लाइन is known as the mid rib this thick line is known as the mid rib and this lining represents these lining structure represent veins lines on the leaf are called veins these veins are of a two types that is on the basis of this vein leaf venation is of a two type that is parallel and reticulate venation parallel venation and reticulate venation in parallel venation leaves of grass generally in which veins are parallel to each other these veins are parallel to each other in both leaf is known as the parallel venation generally it is take place in grass leaves okay but in reticulate venation veins are not parallel but they are represent a neck like structure they form a neck like structure okay this is known as the reticulate venation for example leaves of mango plant pea plant these are the reticulate these leaves show reticulate type of venation after that functions of the leaf first manufacturing of food is take place with the help of leaf leaf generally prepare their food and store food so known as the food factory of a plant with the help of the photosynthesis process in photosynthesis process leaves of a plant green leaves that contain chlorophyll leaves of a plant take carbon dioxide gas from the air and water from the soil in presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll prepare their food and release oxygen okay this is the main function of the leaf after that next function of leaf is the transpiration what is mean by transpiration there is excess loss of water from the leaf also takes place excess loss of water from the leaf also takes place and this excess loss of water from leaf is known as the transpiration process okay transpiration process generally takes place through the stomata transpiration process generally takes place through the stomata excess water generally form vapor a transpiration process water generally form vapors in transpiration process okay after that next function is gaseous exchange there is a exchange of gases also takes place during respiration and photosynthesis through stomata exchange of gases also takes place through stomata in the process of respiration and photosynthesis because in photosynthesis carbon dioxide gas is taken and oxygen is released but in respiration process which is take place in absence of sunlight at night time and at night time the process gets reversed that is plants also take oxygen gas and release carbon dioxide gas just like human beings so scientists say that at night time we not sleep under the plants because they also release carbon dioxide gas just us okay students 
After that, types of leaf. Mainly there are two types of leaf. That is simple leaf and compound leaf. Mainly there are two types of leaf. Simple leaf and compound leaf. In simple leaf there is a single lamina which is not divided into segments. There is a single lamina which is not divided into segments. Just like mango, guava, money plant. Mango, guava, money plant. Leaf are simple. But compound leaf in which lamina is divided into several small segments. Just as in rose or neem plants. Leaf are further divided into small several segments. Okay. After that modification of leaf. In some plants the leaf is modified to perform some special functions. Some special functions. Leaf are modified to perform some special functions. That is, first one is the leaf tendrils. Leaf tendrils. In climbers, leaves are modified into spring-like structures. Climbers plants, leaves are modified into spring-like structures. Leaves are modified into spring-like structures. That is called leaf tendrils. After that, leaf spines. In cactus plants, leaves are modified into spines. Leaf spines. In cactus plants, leaves are modified into leaf spines. And there is avoidness of loss of water by transpiration process. After that, insectivorous plants. Insectivorous plants. Insectivorous plants. Leaves are modified into peacher plants, bladder plants, peacher plants, bladder plants. Leaves are modified into insectivorous plants or fly trap for catching the digesting in insect. To catch the insects, leaves are modified into feature, bladder or fly trap. After that, vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. In vegetative propagation, some plants live near buds in the marginal notches from which new plants grow and develop. In vegetative propagation, from which new plants grow and develop. With the help of this process, bryophyllum. Bryophyllum. Begonia plants are grows into new plants by the process of vegetative propagation in which leaves are marginal notches from near near the buds. These are the modification of leaves that is climbers, leaf tendrils, leaf spines, insectivorous plants and vegetative propagation. After that our next part is about flower. 
A flower may be defined as a modified suit in which nodes and internodes are highly condensed. In flower, nodes and internodes are highly condensed. And flower is the site of the sexual reproduction. Flower is the site of a sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction generally takes place with the help of the flower. Now main parts of the flower. Main parts of the flower. First one is the thalamus. LX Corolla Stamen and Pistil. These are the main basic parts of a flower. In Thalamus plants in the flower of a plant, mainly first one is thalamus. Thalamus, the flower is born on a stalk called a thalamus or pedicle. From which this is born. In this system, mainly the flower is born on a stalk. The uppermost end of the perineal is somewhat swollen. This swollen part of a flower is known as the pedicle and also thalamus. After that, elex. Elex is the first outermost horn of a flower. Elex is the first outermost part of a flower. It consists leaf like structures called sepals. It consists leaf like structures and called as sepals. Okay? After that, After that, corolla. It is the second horn of a flower. Corolla is the second horn of a flower. Each segment of the corolla is known as the petal. Each segment of the flower is known as the petal. Petals are usually brightly colored. Petals are usually brightly colored due to the presence of the pigments. Due to the presence of the pigments. Okay. After that, our next part is the stamen. Stamen is the main reproductive organ of the plant. Stamen is the male reproductive organ of the plant and pistil is the female reproductive organ of the plant. Stamen generally consists of filament, connective and anther. Stamen generally mainly consists of parts that is filament Connective and anther. In the stamen, filament is the stalk. In the stamen, this is the filament, and the upper part is known as the anther, and the upper part is known as the 
anther and there is a connection in between the anther and the filament is known as the connective okay these are the male reproductive organ of a plant in this anther there are pollen grains also contain anther also contains pollen grains okay after that next part is the pistil pistil is the female reproductive organ of a plant it mainly consists of a ovary style and a stigma it mainly consists of a stigma style and a ovary these three are the main basic part of a of a pistil which is the female reproductive organ of the plant this is stigma this is style ovary ovary mainly contains ovals ovary mainly contains ovals style is that part which connects the stigma to ovary and stigma is the terminal end of the style it is hairy and sticky stigma is hairy and sticky it can receives pollen grains which are transferred from the tube of the stamen that is from the anther part of a stamen from anther pollen grains are transferred and stigma receives these pollen grains and the process of pollination takes place the process of pollination is as the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a stamen to the stigma of the pistil that is male reproductive part to the female reproductive part is known as the pollination process okay after that what are the types of a flower mainly there are two types of flowers that is complete flower or incomplete flower complete flowers are those flowers that contain all the four holes no missing holes is present for example in china rose mustard rose etc these are the complete flower in incomplete flower is that flower that have one or more part is missing that is in wheat plant grass plant pumpkin plant watermelon plant these are the incomplete flower after that the functions of the flower flowers are the reproductive organ of the plant as leaf are the food factory of a plant flower are the reproductive organ of a plant ovary of a flower develops into fruit ovary ovary of a flower develops into fruits and ovals of a flower develops into seeds okay the nectar of the flower is collected by honey bees to prepare honey perfumes are prepared from the flowers perfumes are also prepared from the flowers these are the main basic part of the flower okay students here we will discuss about the sewer systems that is complete now about sewer system mainly stem leaf and the flower features of the stem functions and modification after that leaf parts of leaf venation types of venation functions of leaf and modification of leaf and after that about flower parts of the flower 
types of the flower and the main function of the flower. Thanks a lot.